Time for the show. Time for the show. What's up? What's up? What's up? Giami. Oh, y'all know what it is. It's time. It's time. It's Giami time. Gina, I thought you gave me two bottles of water. Where they at? Where the bottle at? Oh, it's time for Giami Journey, family. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. We are up. We are live. Lines are open. Give y'all time to get on in. Gather round, gather round, brothers and sisters. For it is time for glory. Peace. This is Brother Hatim, and you have joined us on Giami Journey Radio. Be sure to check out our site and subscribe at tribe.giamijourney.com. All my brothers and sisters hold hands and bow your head. Let us pray. God stand up in the congregation of the mighty. He judges the most of God. How long will you judge unjustly and accept the persons of the wicked? I say, in the four and the five of us, who justice to the afflicted and the needy, deliver the poor and needy, rid them out of the hand of the wicked. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on and go. All the foundations of the earth are out of court. I have said, you are God, and all of you are children of the most high. But you shall die like men, and fall like men of the princes. Arise, O God, judge the earth. Thou shalt inherit all nations. We got to send out the black This is Kabari Franks, and you are now listening to the Gianni Journey Radio. Keep up with the journey. Check out what we have done in the past. If 
You're not adding anything to the culture that you claim. You don't deserve to carry his name. This is brother. You're not adding anything to the culture that you claim. You don't deserve to carry his name. This is brother. You're not adding anything to the culture that you claim. You don't deserve to carry his name. This is brother. You're not adding anything to the culture that you claim. So I'm posting up the uh, folk tale on, uh-oh, I didn't put a, I don't do no damn emojis, I ain't do an emoji, it's an emoji on there. So if anybody wants the folk tale but they ain't got it right in front of them, I have posted up a link for the folk tale. I'm also posting up a link for those that want to participate in the mall that we got coming up. Also, I like to call it the market, you know what I'm saying? But the family wanted to call it the mall, so that's what it's going to be. We're going to have a movie night. On that night, we're going to be watching The Purge, The Beginning, and having a conversation about it because I am told that I will be shocked at some of the similarities of, uh, to life that's going to be popping off in that movie. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. So we'll be having that movie from 3 to about six until the conversation is over you better get there you'll be able to come um shopping because we're going to have um vendors up in the place um we're going to have uh sister CeeLo. she's going to be doing the demonstration for the african heritage diet which y'all hear me talk about a lot as an important aspect of one of the pillars for our health um pillar one proper breathing pillar two Drink plenty of good and real water. Three, eating a culturally appropriate diet. And that's the one she's going to focus on. And four, culturally appropriate movements, right? So culturally appropriate diet, what is that? What is that? Every people were designed to eat certain things and, and, and stay away from certain things. Or not eat as much as certain things. I know some of y'all, some of us, we... we we hooked in on some of these diets. I'm just saying, family, add some African elements to your diets. Some oils, some nuts, some uh, different vegetables. Uh, Sister CeeLo is going to demonstrate on some cooking. And I think we're going to get back into some exploring some health um, ideas. Once again, like we did at the beginning of Giami Journey. Um, so, uh, the lines are open. Um, call in line. 
614-556-4535. If anybody want to join the conversation, um, of course, you know it's open line, so feel free. Um, need your help with the interpretation of this powerful folk tale that we have popping off tonight. I think it's going to generate some uh, powerful discussions um, because it's so basic, it's so simple, it's so straightforward that I think that uh, you will be able to use this proverb or this folktale to look at many aspects of your personal life as well as our community life. Um, once again, I wanted to make sure that everybody know um, Uh, a lot of the people that I listen to on YouTube have been marginalized, including um, eventually Jiami Journey. There is an attack, as some of y'all saw earlier this week with us. We had um, some unfriendly visitors, you know what I'm saying, some, some, some wannabes that interfered with the show. Um, far as, you know, white boys uh, or box. Because when I went to track down who and where they was from, the time or the, the, uh, the, the, the page, pages were empty, of course. Um, really no history on them, um, other than just being on my timeline. Then I went back to look for some of the comments that were gone. Um, it was, uh, one on stream.me that was, that really got crazy. Um, I left him with some parting words and, um, let him go, you know, and that's, you know, that, that, you know, that's, you, you need to expect that type of thing. But, um, now the attacks are coming from, uh, the old media arm. Um, of, of this thing of this white supremacy um, uh, like uh, oftentimes y'all see me post up stuff from Yvette Cornell on my timeline as well as Tone Talks um, uh, uh, Professor Black Truth every now and then uh, uh, Jason Black the Black Authority I post up their stuff Tariq get kind of raw for me I mean even for me I I I listened to one of Tariq's shows yesterday, and I said, I I can't repost this. Because he had a real good show. The show was fantastic. He had Professor Black Truth on there. He had Jason Black on there. And right after he got off, and right after he got them off, he got raw and went right into just roasting somebody. I'm like, I had to turn that. I, I had to turn it off. I had to turn I said, man. I mean, it was it was it was a magnificent show all the way up into that. But um, what was going on is that they are labeling people who claim the title of DOS, American DOS, descendants of slaves. Um, people that use the hashtag are being labeled as bots. Which, in a sense, kind of isolates and makes it a little bit harder to receive the message. Because nowadays with some of these bots, supposedly, you can't tell whether they're real or not. But, you know, like I said, um, it wasn't that hard for me to figure out that uh, the individuals that was on my timeline, except for stream.me. Unless that was a really, really programmed bot. And, I, and if it was, I am quite humbled that somebody would have took the time to develop something that was able to respond with that many insults in that short of a time um but is being marginalized by members of the black media um media is just another arm of uh, this call is being recorded white supremacy is the media is is an arm of the enemy that we battle um and uh they are labeling them as bots to, to marginalize them and to kind of cut the message because what happened was that 
when Kamala Harris announced that she was running, uh, they got on it immediately. Breaking down her history, breaking down her prosecution record, breaking down the fact of of, of her uh, 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 sending police to basically arrest mothers supposedly for not for truancy of their children um and they got on it got on questioning where she was from who she was and why she was claiming um uh, dos status indirectly um and they i mean like they put it on her they put it on they put on her so bad that uh they were labeled um and you know, and and then you you get people coming out with the with these things like y'all too black. You know what I'm saying? A person can't be a president for just black people. And the piece that people have to understand is that we understand this. We're not asking somebody just to be a president for black people. What what the calls for now is for for people to have us and have our agenda in hand have our agenda in hand um the time for us to allow people to squeak on by regardless of whether they water black you know what i'm saying regardless of whether what what ethnic group they come from or what nationality they claim the time for us just letting people walk through walk through us and we just in charity Give you my vote because you like me and charity. Give you my vote because you belong to a certain party or the people that I roll with to give our vote, vote away is no longer doing that shit. Because the, the thing that we have learned over time, you know what I'm saying? Over time is that if you are not speaking about our agenda, our agenda is not on the table. So people will say things like, well, they can't come right out and talk about that. I talked about this this morning. We got people right now who are more concerned about winning rather than forcing the discussion on the table. The goal is to get the discussion on the table. And what is the black agenda? First and primary, there has to be reparations. And then like, oh, oh, listen. It needs to be part of the agenda, a real talk. Tone talked to put in some um, some good work. Vet Cornell and put in some good work. We got other people that have put in some good work and got the numbers. You know what I'm saying? Got how to handle it. And for and now what I want y'all to understand because what's going to be happening in the next couple of months is that that whole concept is going to be hijacked. And eventually, and this is this this is the next move. It's going to be hijacked. And it's going to include everybody. We got to stop doing that, black folks. We got to become politically selfish. You know what I'm saying? Um, I heard I heard it put best today by Professor Black Truth. Groups do not have friends; they have interest. If we are serious about lasting into the 21st century, here we have to start putting our issues on the table number one being reparations number two is dismantling the police state that we are living in now like i said i don't have to come with a solution all i gotta come with is the shit i need you to talk to talk about as a politician because this is what every other group does and we have the right to do it and not feel guilty about doing that all right so Somebody's on the line. I don't want to. I don't want to uh, take too much away from the show and talking about that. Uh, it's brother Quasi, and Quasi might be. He might be. Wow. He might be reporting live from um, uh, uh, a protest that I seen him um, proudly participating in yesterday. You want to tell him about that, or you got something else you want to open up with? Nah, that's definitely what I mean. Uh, every, everything you were just talking about, Todd, ready? Can you hear me? Mm-hmm. Okay, just making sure. Um, everything you were just talking about, 
ties right in because you know you the one that taught me that the politics is really just protecting the money. It's all ultimately about the money. Oh man. So. Oh man. Yeah, that protest. <laughs> Protest didn't. It didn't go tonight. It, it didn't go tonight. We didn't. You know, we we didn't have the manpower. Oh. I, I must report that that we did not succeed in our mission tonight. Oh, we All did right. not have the manpower to make us successful. I mean, we turned a couple people away, but ultimately the store stayed open and they they kept making money. Mm. All right. So now, so what happened is you ran into the. I did something syndrome, now I can chill. The I did something syndrome, so now I can chill, right? And then on top yes. of that, then on top of that, you also ran up into the fact that many black folks are out here struggling to survive. <laughs> they had to be at work. You understand what I'm saying? There? And I And I understand. So now what we have to do is we have to come up with another strategy. And I'll be glad to sit down with you and, and we could we could discuss that. Or we can just discuss part of that. Because I already know the folk tell is going to pop that shit wide open when we really start discussing it. So I'm not even concerned about it. Your solution will come on the show tonight. You know, look, I am, I am glad that you picked up on that. I'm going to tell people uh, what's going on. Tell people about the store. Um, we could continue posting up because one of the things that we also could use this is use this as is an evaluation tool for how far we can actually actually reach with um, social media on these stores. And another piece that you got to understand too, and I don't think because I, I noticed this because I be going to those stores. So I was going, I, I stopped at one store, and I just happened to run into. A, a a a dude that's very familiar, and I was asking him some questions, and this store was on the east side, on Main, and Main and right across the street from that church's chicken. That ain't the one y'all protesting, is it? Nah, you talking about Miller and Kelly? No, it's it's Main Street. It's Main. Um, I'm just I'm, I'm trying yeah, to. Yeah, Main down there by Miller and Kelton, the store. I mean, yeah, I think it gotta be. But it's right on the corner. It's on Main Street. Which one is Kelton? But the the whole point, the point I'm trying to make is that the dude that was working there, when I came out east, three days later, I walked into the store and I kept looking at him. I said, "Excuse me, dude." You work at, I mean, I could have swore I just saw you somewhere else. You got a brother or something? He said, no, 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 that's me. I remember you from this. So they be switching. They'll take one individual out of one store. And all these stores are connected. All of them. And are, they already know that ultimately it's going to, they know how niggas is. You see what I'm saying? They know that it's going to be friction between somebody. And if you stay at the store too long, you might, you probably going to get shot. Shot at, you gonna have to shoot somebody, you're gonna get punched in the face if you're lucky. You know what I mean? So they know they gotta keep that rotation moving and they gave us the whole they fed us the whole thing. So can I go ahead and jump into the story about what you know my what, what happened? Oh yeah, go ahead, hit it now, hit it. You know how you so, gotta you got you gotta just jump in. You already know how we do it on the journey. But go ahead. So I was on Facebook, man, spending, you know, you know, uh wasting a little bit of time sometimes. <laughs> Just on there scrolling, and then I seen a video of a brother that was in the store calling out the store dude, and I'm listening, so I got to listening. I had to hit the unmute because it was like a heated conversation. It'd be just muted, muted when it's going down the thing. So he was saying something about a family member of his that, and actually he on the line, so I want to, I don't want to tell his story too much. I just want to tell how I came across the story. You know, he's saying about how he was unhappy about how his family member his young underage family member was approached by the store dude. So I got on there and I made a couple phone calls or looked through a couple things and sent a couple uh, Facebook messenger. And then... Somebody was going to mute. I'm going to mute him until you get done. Caller that just called in. Hold on. I'll, I'll bring you on in a second. Go ahead, Quasi. I think that's him. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's him right there. Uh, so, so you know what I mean? I just, 
I ended up getting in touch with him, and, and we went to the store. And last night we was able to shut the door down, but today we didn't get we you know we didn't get to uh, have as much success. But I told the brother I wanted to get him on here so he could tell the story because I think that it's important to be heard. So I, I kind of want to introduce you. You introduce. Uh, you introduced me one way, but I know, you know, I, I, I use the alias as well, so I, don't, I won't want to blow your spot up. So if you don't mind, just get on here and go ahead and introduce yourself here. Tell, tell the listeners what your experience is like and what happened. Hey, sweetie. Yeah, what's up? Uh, can y'all hear me? Yeah, we can hear you, you good. got some background noise. Can yeah. you turn the background noise down? Yes. Or is that better? Yes, sir. All right, bro. <laughs> Welcome to the journey. Let me, let me, what's going on? What's up? What's up? My name, I go by Black. I want to tell my story about what happened, you know, on the video in the store. Y'all with me? Yes, sir. Go ahead. All right. Yeah. Okay. So basically, uh, <clears throat> it was a Saturday night. My wife's 14-year-old sister went into the corner store on Main and Wine. It's called the Food Mart at 3351 East Main Street in Columbus. She went in the store to buy some snacks and chips. You know the things that 14-year-old kids do. Right. You know, they want candy and stuff like that. So she bought the candy. Her mom's outside in the, in the car waiting for her to come out. So she's in there. The store clerk tells her when she when you ring her up, he tells her, you know you can take my number, right? And she asked him, she said, what? He said, you can take my number, just don't tell anyone. So she just looked at him, and then she just left her stuff on the counter. She walked out, she went and told her mom. So her mom then in turn had her call my wife so she could get in touch with me. I wasn't here at the time, but my wife had called me, told me the story. I'm like, I'm going to go out there right now. She like, no, nah, don't go out there because the police are already up there for something else. So I'm, I'm going to go out there tomorrow, and we're going to find who this is, and we're going to you know, we're going to get to the bottom, but during the night, as I'm thinking, I'm like, why is he trying to give her his number and tell her not to tell no one, you know? So I was kind of amped, like, I can't wait to go in there to see him, and I know you were evening, so I decided to wait until after 2 o'clock, because everybody said he will be in there after 2 o'clock. So I go in there, take my wife's phone, there was a guy standing outside, I FaceTime her, I said, is this him? She said, no. So I went inside, I said, this him? She said, yeah, identify him. I then in turn with, gave my wife her phone back, grabbed my phone, went in there recording just to see what he would say because in my head, I'm already thinking there's something going on for him to tell a little black kid. I mean, it don't matter what, what race it is, but for him to tell a little kid not to tell their parents when you're in a community, when you have a store in a community where these kids already fear enough, where we already have enough fears and they don't trust a lot of authority figures, you know, so we already have a lot of kids not telling what's going on, so we don't really know what's going on. So, And they feed off that. I feel like he fed off that just as pedophiles and predators do. Mm-hmm. He fed off the fear. They feed off the fear of our children because our children are scared to come to us about things because we have a lot that we deal with. So all the time, a lot of times we don't listen to what our kids have to say or we, we're hearing we'll we'll brush them off, especially in impoverished communities. You know, a lot of people are dealing with trying to come up with rent, come up with bills, you know. So, it's a lot of times we don't get the side of the story from the kid. But when I went in there, I didn't expect them to admit it so fast, you know, and then for them to, kept, uh, for them to keep apologizing, it, it made me mad. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, why you keep apologizing? You only apologize because you got caught, you know. And then and another thing about him saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He didn't even know which child I'm talking about, so could you imagine how many kids he has done oh, it yeah. for? Oh, if, yeah. if any kid in that community that's missing, could he be responsible in any way for that? We have to really investigate because that's really a, a possibility and it's something that we don't look at. You know, he, he really, it, it was it's something up with him, but it's not just him is what I'm trying to, well, what I want people to understand. It's not just him. It doesn't stop there. It's it starts there, but it doesn't stop there. It's really a problem we have to address. It's already too many kids missing. I'm tired of getting on Facebook seeing this kid missing, that kid missing, and 
we feel like where are they going? Who's taking our children left and right? The thing I was trying to explain tonight, I said, when you have 80,000 children abducted by a stranger, these aren't children abducted by their parents. These aren't children missing. These are kids taken from their families with force. You know, it's really a problem. Every day, 200 kids going missing. And then you got people with the opportunity to take your kid without a trace for your kid to go in the store to buy some chips and some candy, and you'll never hear from your kid again. You don't know what happened. You go in a corner store, buy whatever you buy, talk to the guy behind the counter and tell him your problems because you trust him because he has business in your neighborhood, and he could be responsible for it. You well, know, that's, that's really it. That's, that's crazy, really something right? That needs to be addressed. We oh, have yeah. to think about it. Oh, yeah, and it's like you now, because one of the things I was telling Quasi is that they be switching them dudes out. So that dude that was on that side <coughs> of town with that heat probably didn't come in there today, but they're going to make sure he's working on the west side. Or, or, right, or, and that's, go ahead. Man. I mean, no, I'm just saying, because that's part of the issue, because one of the issues that we got to always realize, especially when we're dealing with these corner stores and, and with businesses that's outside of us, people that are outside of us, they are predators on us. Not uh, economically, right. physically, socially, they they because we're easy target, we're poor exactly. target. They set up these stores and they're able to give some of these little girls, uh, or or even little boys extra candy and and and, right. and, they, and they're in a perfect position to to set up your child with bait, exactly. uh, uh, something. So that, you know, okay, I'm going I'm to chill with you for two weeks and not tell nobody. Because some of these little girls will run off, you know what I'm saying, or, or whatever. And then they pop, if they pop back up. Because not only are these stores uh, connected locally, they're connected statewide, if not nationally. Nationally, exactly. So your in child could be in New know. Mexico. You know what I'm saying? One of their friends could be going to New Mexico to start a new life with a new young wife or a new young hostage because one of the things that 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 that, that I learned um, um, by dealing in, in with, with Islam that there was mm -hmm. the, the Arab slave trade is much older than the European slave trade. So we got to understand right. that you got one slave master combating with another slave master and all of them are taking advantage of us. Right, exactly. And that's the and that's a lot and a lot of times that's what goes on. Like I mean I didn't I know people that my wife done went to school with that married a Arab and flown over to their country and back. You know they did that willingly. But it's they, they do that, you know, they target they target our black women. Oh yeah. But, you know, with with the women they could willingly do that. With the children, they're not willing to do that. So how do you get them? You See, force them. You you find a way to you find there 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 has to be there 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 has to be more to the story than what we see. You know, there there has to be more than what we know. And there's people that hide in plain sight every day that we don't think. And those are our, uh, the, they're the people basically. Like when you think of people who's going to kidnap the children, you never think the person in the story. You never we never think that. You know. You never think the person you see every day could kidnap your child. And these people could kidnap your child. And the scary part of it is they have connections to other countries, like easy connections. So right. They ship them over there. You know, organs are being harvested every day. You know, it's not even just about, I mean, that's still trafficking, but it's not just about sex trafficking. It's, you know, body parts. And oh, yeah. Parts. Dude. They go, they go for a high amount. And if you know something, if, if you really need it and you know a way, See, if these people, they're getting money to start up stores and do all that. They get money from our government, but they also get money from other places. Hell you know, yeah. if somebody say, bring me a child over here and I'll give you $100,000 because someone's paying a million because they want that heart. That, that heart's worth a million to them. Their, their kid's going to die without it. And they ain't got time to wait on no list. So why wouldn't you give somebody a million and then somebody in turn... You get a hundred thousand. You know, you could split a million ten ways. And when, if you got ten people in the same boat, it's not hard to get something done. You know, it's so many stores in our country. It's ridiculous. So even if one store every year did something like that, that's too much. You know. Oh yeah. So and and we want 
We don't want none of that happening, but it could be possibly way more than that. You know, I'm saying it could be, we don't know, it could be one a day. It's just something that we have to investigate. I'm not saying that that's what it is, you know, because everything, anything that's not proven is alleged, you know. So I'm not saying that's what it is, but I'm saying we should look into it. Just as we look into anything else, you know, anything else we feel is not right we look into it, you know. We, a lot of people don't want to, go against even being out there protesting a lot of them don't want to go against the stores because it's a convenience store convenient to them you know they like their convenience lady yesterday told us we told her not to shop at the store because they try to abduct well not that we we told her she they try to talk to a 14 year old girl you know girls are being abducted and everything else in this country so you got to be aware the lady's response was oh well it's not my daughter you know and it's sad to see a black woman say that because it could be a daughter now, and it would be a daughter. And if it was a daughter, we'd be out here the same way. You know what I'm saying? If we knew, because the, the, these these store owners are in a perfect situation to groom individuals, because some of this shit could take place over months. If a child is going to a store on a regular basis, and you allow that child to go there by themselves, you don't know what's happening yeah. when they go in there and you purchase don't. that. You see what I'm saying? That's I give you extra candy. Oh, he like me. He friendly. Blah blah blah. You know what I'm saying? So you're right. We have to we have to watch and we have to protect our children. But uh, another issue that we have to really look at is, um, um, because uh, and I and I keep I'm, I'm telling Quasi this a lot of times because I talk about tribe building and circling the wagons because this yeah. uh, things like this allow you to see who really on your team, who really in your tribe, because it's going to come, it's going to come a time where that same woman that you, that, that said, so what, it wasn't my daughter. All right, cool, ma'am. Go on and enjoy yourself. See, because we don't need to argue with that. We need to go on, go on across the line. Yeah, yeah. Boom. Definitely. And, and, we and, didn't argue with it. and take a picture in your mind. If not, if not just, you know, take a picture because the, it's going to come a time where these people will need somebody. And one of the, one of the issues exactly. that we have in our community is that we're we're open to help everybody because they look like us. But one of the things that I have come to terms with, and I still struggle with, is just because you look like us doesn't mean you are us. Because right, some, exactly. some of these dudes that's up in these stores kind of right. look like us, but they're not really us. You understand some of the people? Now, a lot of people know. that's us. From the, from the same community. I think that's uh, something that, that that's kind of the, the, the saddest part in all of the most like, disheartening part is that it's a lot of people that grew up in our same neighborhood. And matter of fact, before I go any further, I just thought about it. But you know, uh, you know somebody named Calico? Who, me? Black. Mm -hmm. It sounds you know, familiar. I, you, you, you play basketball? Nah. Oh, okay, okay. I might have uh, had you... Uh, but anyways, but just I was actually saying that just to kind of make the point that our community is, is small, man. We, we it's like he was saying how that lady it's a, a good chance that she one day might need the, the community to support her, and it's a good oh, she's chance. Going you know, to need. If you ask all your people, and she asks her people, y'all's people, our people know each other somewhere because Columbus is Where? not that damn big. The hood is not it's that not big. You know what I'm saying? So I. What so ultimately the reason we was able to shut that shit down yesterday was because people came out. It wasn't even that many. How many people was it out there? Like it wasn't twenty. Nah, it was about. It was less than twenty people, right? Yeah, less than twenty. So then today it was like I think it was a total of like five or six of us that that came out. Now, and, oh, go ahead, bro. No, I was just gonna say we we didn't we the store is still open when we left it was open we turned a couple people away but i just wanted to say to you man because like as you see like man this is something that like i i'm for i've been fortunate enough to have met hot tim it's been about 10 years now since i met hot tim and he pulled me right in and like, yeah. i kind of hit the ground running and i i got into i got into the fight like uh, a while ago so I done learned some shit, but one of the main things I done peaked, man, it's, it, I'm actually just now coming back. Me and Hashem, I mean, me and Hashem stay in touch, but as far as me getting out there doing something like that, I haven't done nothing like that in a good five, six, seven years, because the shit broke my heart, bro. I, I, 
I got to be real with you, man. This shit fucking broke my heart, man. Just, like, dealing with people and people, like, giving up and, you know what I'm saying? Just a lot of situations, man. It's, it's, it's some real shit, man. So, as you just got a chance to see, like, that, that energy, how quickly it come in, mm-hmm. for it to continue, it's hard fucking work, man. It's daily effort, daily grind. Because... It's like the... Uh, the, the the behind the scenes. This right here is just one thing, but even after it, the other shit that's gonna happen that has to happen ain't gonna happen on this phone call. We gonna have to meet like in person. Yeah, we gotta get together you know and, and keep going up there because I was that's what I was talking. Nah, about see that's about. the thing. It's not even going up there. We the next time we go up there, we would have had to meet each other about three or four times and come up with a strategy. Yeah, that's what we just that's keep what I'm going saying. up there, they're going to just start calling the police that's, and we're going to just be... But that's my point, yeah. I don't want to just go up there just without a, a, a strategy or without a plan. I want to actually organize something to get a lot of people together and really show them, you know what I'm saying, because they don't take it seriously. They don't take it seriously. They shut down last night. They don't like what I, what I, what I said to the owner. They only... Shut down the store. They only fired him because of public scrutiny. They knew what would happen. They know it would be. They didn't fire him. We, we know they didn't fire him. They moved him to another store. That'd be like that'd yeah, that's be, what they claim they fired him. But if they were really behind it, they would have gave us their real name. They gave us his real name. They gave us different names. You know what I'm saying? They was they hesitated to say any name, if you're behind it, you're such a business that they're not going to shut down because they're not truly behind it. It's, it's really a a, 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 a a gap between us and them, and they try to make it seem like it's not just to get our money, just to get the black dollars that circulate. They know we spend billion dollars a, a, over a billion dollars a year in convenience stores, you know, and that's the African-American so they're making plenty of money throughout this country in different cities and different states. And a lot of them are together. So they're making money off of us. But then they want to exploit us even further. You know, like he said, they're, they're, their slave trade dates back well before the and European. And still they're, going they're on. Trade, and still going when on. When it comes to slave, they are the the masters of it. They, they, they've they been doing it. And they, and they still do that. You know, they've mar- married kids off at 14 and he's nothing to them. It's only means something to them because they're in this country. You know, if they were in their country, they wouldn't have a problem. Now, let me, because uh, now part of the strategy is one also looking, really taking a real look at how much money they produce in our community because there's ways to find that out. Because there's other ways mm-hmm. that we could get the politicians to also work on shutting these people down. Because, right, I mean, I, I, mm-hmm. I don't know how soon an election is coming, but this is this the issue for me, right? Um, we have to be able to organize stuff so that we can start getting some of our people some of their needs because everybody don't go to those convenience stores. And we have to start trying to fill those business gaps because if that means because actually... We might be able to build a serious movement off of this. All right, cool. You need to go to this store. What do you need? We'll buy the shit in bulk and we'll distribute it amongst the people. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because we got to really be creative with this because people, some people, because they call them food deserts for a reason. They are able to set right. up in areas where people don't have the transportation to go nowhere else. That sister that came in there, might have not, if she yeah. didn't look healthy, might have not been able to make it. Over to the next corner store. So what we mm-hmm. might what we might have to do is start with one and start and start running some of these dudes up out of here, because yeah, really you can't. We gotta have, buy back our community. We gotta right. buy back the block. See, but this the issue is not ours. It's not ours if somebody is providing the life blood and life fluid. Right. It's not ours. It's actually theirs and the people that we rent from. Once we start understanding that these blocks, we don't own them, it gives us a different perspective and we can look at it from a real point. We're just occupied and we're occupied. This is why this is why you could go to that store and the police could roll up on you and kind of kind of harass y'all to keep it moving because y'all occupying space. You you don't own nothing on that block. The police right. job and we is really don't even up. own the money. We don't own the money. Right. We, we None. Don't own but that's the money why we, at all. Not even we have to. 
we have to invest. You know, we have everybody. It's working. I see you, Sister like, Okay, a lot of people in, in our in our culture, they want, you know, people get, they come out, they want to spend 50000 on a necklace. We could have bought a business for 50000 You know, a lot of times people, they get back $12,000 in tax money and they would be broke in a week or so. You know what oh, I'm yeah. saying? Because they went through the money because they don't know how to, they don't, how to, Put their money in the right place. If if, if ten people that got twelve thousand, not just ten people, twelve thousand dollars. That's one hundred twenty thousand. We can open up three businesses right now. Three people per business. You know, and that that takes nothing. That's just one year to in the to, to get it flowing. You know, we could take community college classes that we don't have education to learn business like or, they learn business. They or, they or even they deeper. go into business and because they know. It. They don't even know, dog. Think about this. They come over. They, see, because the piece is, Jamal. we don't we don't believe that we are enough. Jamal. We don't believe that we are enough. So, of course, we got to go out, outside, and if it makes us feel good to spend money with other people, we need to start right. going and learning how to work with each other. Because now, the reality of it, and, you know, because I hear, I hear y'all about that. But one hundred twenty thousand dollars is not enough money to start no six businesses. It's barely enough to start one successful business because you're gonna need finances to keep the business moving. A real business like that store, they put a lot of money in that. And I never thought about that 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 um that organ harvesting huh? shit because you got a hell of a point, dog. You can open a store if you're able to get a kid a year. Yeah, most definitely. Shit. But I mean, I, I understand what you're saying, but I, I mean, I know, I, I know people with businesses, and they tell me they started their business with thirty thousand. That's where I get my numbers. So, you know, I'm not just saying that, just you know, off the top of the head. I'm saying like, if, if people understand that it don't take as much money as you think to open a business, you know, get the business open. I understand people got to work and they got to make their money. You know, I'm not saying everyone can open a business. I'm saying if we open more businesses, we can generate. See, the thing is, a lot of people are scared to, to do it because we don't know about it. If we do our research and, and like I said, really take business class and learn how to produce business like the, like the lady. Okay, there's people that start businesses from the ground up and there's people that inherit. It's a lady, she inherited a private jet business. A black woman, she still get credit for it. Then it's another lady that started an alkaline water company from the bottom. You know, she get credit for it. It don't matter how you get it or how you started it. Just do the business, and that could we wouldn't have to worry about. I'm not saying we wouldn't have to worry about that, but we would have to worry less because the thing think, is, why? Why? I think, go ahead. I think we're getting a little too far down the line. A little too like even right. talking about business. We're getting too far down the line. First thing first is we need people to pay attention to what's going on. Oh, that's but that's the one. Thing too. We that's, gotta that's be. The thing about <coughs> because you gotta think. That's the thing about what? About I didn't hear what you said. What that's the thing, thing about. about what I'm saying about businesses is because with, with them, they hire their own. It's mm -hmm. not just because. It's not they don't want to hire us. It's just they don't want us to know what's going on. It's why they don't hire us. Or oh, they know, got cousins that need a job. Okay, so like, what are they hiding? I feel like they're hiding something. Why they only hired their race? You know, well, we know that they hiding something. Nah, we know for the fact that they hiding something. Like yeah. that's the thing. We need to create our own secrets. We need to the first, our first and primary and only agenda needs to be us. We need to stop thinking about the rest of these motherfuckers. We got the most important shit on the planet. We got melanin. We uh, got black lucky. skin. We are melanated beings. They we talk about organ, organ harvesting. I don't know if this is true or not, so I don't want to sound like I'm just making shit up. But I hear yeah, that they can sell we melanin. I'm hearing that they can extract melanin out of us and selling that fucking melanin. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, I heard the same we, thing. I mean, I, I know what you're saying. Because they the feel first like step we got to do is to get our, we got to get our community paying attention to what's going on and to understand the opportunity. Because what happened to your little sister is a crisis. But with, with and it's, 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 it's it was a, a and it's an insult a example of a crisis, but it's an example of a larger crisis that's right. going on throughout all of our communities. But the right. thing of it is, and with it being highlighted like that, this is an opportunity, and we have to take yeah. advantage of this. We can't yeah, just let this. Definitely. We can't just so let this opportunity get away go from ahead, us. Well, let let go, uh, let Nevada go ahead. I just wanted to ask y'all because um, I was tuning in. I had to step out for a minute. I tuned in late. And I know you guys. We're uh, talking about you guys went up to the store uh, for, is it for two days y'all been up there? Yeah, this is the second yes, day, the second day. 
Okay, so um, so and wait, and and Sister three, Cynthia, yeah. so, 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 three, because I didn't even know you guys had went up there. So, um, were you planning on what? Was there a plan to go back? What? What was it? What exactly? Because I'm sorry, I'm like, so we are going back up there, and and was it successful? Or? Yeah, tonight wasn't successful. That was one of the reasons why I wanted to have, uh, I came on the show tonight was so we could just, for one, to get the word out, use our platform to get the word out to more people. But also, so we could start talking strategy, just have a, have like a, a strategy kind of, he, obviously once we talk behind the scenes, we can get more in depth into the actual critical strategy part. Right. But just talking about how, what, what the strategy would even look like and who ultimately it is that we need to get paying attention. And I must keep stressing that the people that we need to get paying attention are the people in our community. We right. can, The only way we're going to hold them accountable is if they start seeing we got to be down to being this shit for six months six uh, to a year to the end beyond. Exactly. In, a, in six months, when they look at their bottom line and see that this in this six months since this happened, compared to the six months before it happened, that they lost $50,000. You see what I'm saying? Then they will start listening. No. You know what I mean? Then we got leverage. We can't. It's, it's not possible to walk in there and then we don't have no leverage other than violence, really, which ain't leverage at all, to, right. force, to tell them that they got to shut down because that's just... It's, there's, there's, it just, why would they? You know what I mean? They're making money. They don't have no legal reasons why they would have so to. So when the people were, right. were people, were people um, going in, were people spending people large was, numbers, or were people video, leaving? People was coming in and out. Like, I showed up a little, I came straight over there when I got off work. So people was coming in and out. I just got there and did a little Facebook Live. Probably as I was sitting there, a good 15 people pulled up, and I spoke to most of them. And one person decided to change their mind and turn around and go to a different store, you know, because they didn't understand, because it was such a momentary thing. And the best, like, with that, like, the best the best bet for us next step, the next time we shut down the store is probably at least a week from now, I would say, if not two weeks, to get momentum and to, see, to get 100 people. We can get 100 people to go to that store. Yeah, you can get 100 people. You just need to um, yeah. promote it. Promote it like you promote we're going to a, a, a club like thing. Yeah, you know, most definitely. With that type of vernacular, you know what I mean? And you and put flyers things, out. And you one of the things, uh, go ahead. Yeah, it's also basically saying strategize and, and get people together and, you know, put the word out, get people to share that just like they share the video. Right. You know, get, people to, get people to understand that we really want action we really want we want uh change we basically want we want uh to see something happen we want it finish you know we don't want them to continue to make money in, in a neighborhood that they don't care about that they show they don't care about where they try to harm our children anyone trying to harm our children we have to defend them but when it's the stores right. in our neighborhoods we have to shut it down because that's the only way we can defend them if they're not operating. So there's not going to be... And if people are pulling no, up in cars, they can go somewhere else. That's another story, exactly. There's not going to be no... There's no it's not going to stop until they're shut down. I mean, like he said, if it take a year, I'm down for it for a year. That's, if, if my little sister came up missing at the hands of this man, I will to never stop looking for her. So I'm never going to stop until the store is shut down. I just can't. You know, and we all got to really get, it, it's not just one person, it's not just two people, it's not just ten people. It takes everyone to come together, you know. Uh, Sister Cynthia right. says uh, a, uh, that the dude is in Jersey where they just came back from. Because, like, we already know they do it. They do interstate commerce. They, they transport and shit back and forth. You know, right. and and and, right. and the piece and the piece and another piece that we have to do. This also gives us an opportunity to up our social media game. You know what I'm saying? Because the people people aren't really doing flyers. Flyers would be helpful, but everybody got cell phones. We need to up the social media game and and and, and strategically start shutting these stores down. But be able to pro provide something. For some of the people that want to work with us, because we might not. Let's say we only stop ten customers. Say I ain't never going back to that damn store again. Because some elders that, if they see young people activated, 
over there and say, I, baby, I don't want to go to that store again, but I got to I gotta get some goddamn food. Like I said. Ain't nobody buying no food from them corner stores. But no, but, but the issue. You ain't issue, buying no food from them damn stores. You got to stop. They buying, they buying shit. They buying snacks. They buying shells. They buying all right. shit. But some people and that's actually. The challenge, that, some that's people, the challenge that we have to take on. See, see, because one of the things that we, we did, did, we gotta. One of the things we did back in the past was we did a survey of a certain neighborhood. I don't know. Was you with us when we did that, Quasi? We, yeah, I think you yeah, were. I was. Uh, yeah, that's, we, that's how I ended up getting on with the League of Young Brothers. We need to find out what are some of the needs in that community so that we can start filling some of those needs because 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 people will really show you. Where they at? Like, for example, if I could provide you with something, because like we know a lot of people in that, in these neighborhoods don't have cars. This is why they call our area food deserts. They don't have transportation. A lot of us got transportation, but everybody in the neighborhood ain't got no goddamn car. Some people live off them corner stores. That's why they be having that old ass meat up in there, and you be like, who be buying this shit? Somebody buying that. That's shit. why the shit is old because don't nobody buy this shit because no one is really going in there. Buying that kind of really? shit. Nobody. Buying on, it. No one's buying that kind of shit. If so they wouldn't, if nobody is buying it, why would they keep it? Expired and shit. That's what no I'm saying. And buy, so, let me tell you something. The so they're making all their money off of, off, 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 because off, they have uh, to in order to keep food stands. Yeah. All right. So if y'all believe nobody buying them, I would say let I I say do a motherfucking survey and see. We don't know. We guess. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't have any evidence. You're right. People, you could be right. It's a few people buying, but it's not nobody that were. I mean, it's not nobody would miss it if they weren't there. If people, if nobody will miss it, so they sell at corner stores like they start their shelves because they start their shelves where Walmart start their shelves for a week. They start their shelves for six months. You know, they know that stuff gonna take six months to sell. So they gonna uh, buy it anyway. Either way, you know, they got a lot of stuff going on and they got a lot of secrets going on. That they don't want us to know about. What well, ain't it? They do a, I, mean, I, I would, just, I would disagree. We know how they do business. We know how they do business. I mean, you right. know, growing up there, you know they buy stuff from Kroger and all that. And, 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 and we don't care about none of that. We know y'all buying it for a dollar and selling and making twenty dollars off of the dollar y'all spending on food stamps. We know that, but that we never had a problem with that. We got a problem when y'all do, you know, start other stuff. You know, I mean, we 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 have a problem with some things they do. You know, a lot of times people are getting into it with a store clerk or whatever in the corner stores, but it's 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 bigger than that now. You know, when it comes to our children, that's that's what the real problem is. You know, and that's really what the focus is. When it comes to our children, then you, like the brother said, people were pulling up in their cars, and that means that they got the ability to pull up to go to another store. Yeah, and the thing is, it is black. The, you you scare them. They scared, bro. Like, they, they really yeah, they took you serious because them same dudes, if it would have just been somebody, for one, you made that first video and they know that it was momentum and it was enough momentum for people to come down and sh- come out and shut they fucking store down. Yeah. That shit fucked them we up. Definitely I, don't know did that, yeah. I mean, I'm sure you do realize how much that shit, like, that meant yeah. something to them. They realized it. We, oh, and, and, and I'm proud of us, and I'm proud of us for that, you know, and I'm going to tell you that I'm proud of us that we all really came together together and did that it was just a small like you said under 20 people we shut them down for the night if we all get together we can shut them down forever man what? and any right. other one that think they could do that to, yeah, to, no. to do anything to our children or, or any of us you shut down one you need to shut them all down you know and the thing about it is these, these i see black people seem to be more outraged about that damn r kelly and the shit they, is happening right in their neighborhood. Right. right. And they know exactly. it's a lot of energy right now. They know it's a lot of energy. People is in. Right. Like, people is in. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something, Do y'all want to know why? Do y'all want to know why, for real? Go ahead. Go ahead. And I don't want y'all hating me. No. I really don't want y'all hating me. Say your, say your no, I shit. Don't. Stop, stop starting um, it off with I'm that. Stop your shit and get to it. No, I don't want y'all hating me, but the reason why is because people know they do the same shit particularly. They doing the same shit, uh, uh, um, propositioning young girls. Um, uh, they know what happens in their family. They know what happens. They know what happens in their community. So you're right. You damn right. Yeah, most definitely. And that's what you gotta deal with. Yeah, I know a lot of people deal with that. Like you know, a lot of people, a lot of women, they let stuff go on with with from their boyfriends to their daughters and they won't do nothing 
something about it. So you definitely right. A lot of people don't want to. I mean, that they don't want to happen. Bring, yeah, they don't want to bring light to the situation. That, no, I, that, that's, that's a good statement. There's a lot that's of a good them statement. that don't and don't do it too. Because there's a lot you, that do it still. To me, there's a lot well, that don't, and we you, need to concentrate the on that's, the muscles that's the another, people that are on our page. So that's we can another get this opportunity. And I understand that too. I and I agree with that too. But I also, you know, I think that the first. I think that we always start in our home and then we go out to our neighborhood and then it gets us to, to trickle out. But I think that a lot of times, one thing, and again, I don't want anyone upset with me, but I feel like <coughs> if someone else that says I'm going to start at home and when we do it to ourselves, it's like we're quiet. Like we're, we're like a silent riot. We're not really speaking up when we, when we do it amongst ourselves. And let somebody else do something to totally us good, really. and we we ready to bend together, and that's always changing. That that really uh, that's that hurts my soul. Now, but hold that's on. How it's gonna unfold. Look, let, listen, 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 listen. That's how it's gonna unfold. It's gonna unfold with as we begin to stand up and begin to call. We basically drawing the line in the sand and say, either you on this side and you on that side. And I'm talking right. about black people in our community. Either you with us. Or you with them. You against us. So if that's the case, you, if that's exactly. The case, if you with us, then that the means case. you can't spend your money at these stores no more. And if you are willing to spend your money at these stores, then that means that you too, that you ain't worth shit. That means that you out here wanting to just get drunk out of your mind. You want to just get high and smoke fucking cigarettes, and you want to just let that shit control you. And I'm not knocking nobody. You know what I'm saying? I'm not acting like I don't participate in in my own life. But the thing of it is, is if I let that shit control me, then I'm no good to my community. So if people, right. we got to associate that type of behavior with you might potentially be a fucking pedophile. You might potentially abduct somebody's kids because all you can think about is your next fix. And you're right. so worried about your next fix that you're not even thinking about the consequences of who it's affecting. So that means right. you might be a motherfucking, you're the enemy. So well, that's how we that's well, how we create that situation. Like who's you want? Now, and, and, and now you say you and saying, a point that should be made and a point that should be made is that the the scariest part, like the people that share the video, a lot of people share, a lot of people feel it, you know. But the scariest part to me about it is that you can only imagine the different things he could have did with the opportunity. You know, it could have been she could have went with him and something went wrong. He did something to her. You know, not even with the intention to do something. You know, he already has the intention to do something bad, so your intention to do something bad already there, so it's going to keep snowballing. So snowball effect. If one thing goes wrong, you on you already have bad intentions, so you can't make good on that. You can't do anything to 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 make good. Now, but, yeah, well, one of the things one of the things I want to stress is now because we do have certain things that we need to solve in our community. And things like this allow us to really start seeing who on the team, who not on the team, who in the tribe, who not on the tribe. But we got to make sure that people understand, you know. So when in the advertising, you got to make you. We got to we got to do it like that if we're gonna do it like that. You on this side, you on that side. Last piece. The one little difference, because I agree with what with, with Lady J is saying one hundred percent. The one difference that I want us to take in account of is this. That these motherfuckers are visitors in our area. So it's, and, and one of the issues that people are able to do and have been able to do to black people all throughout our American sojourn is, and well, I ain't even going to say that because there was a certain segment of, of, of brothers and elders that would not allow this shit. But if, 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 if you, if, we have to develop the ability to award, reward our friends and punish our enemies. You are you are on a visitor pass in our community, but and this is a whole nother piece. And this is where some people might get frustrated because Haji might have moved, like she said, to New Jersey. It's like you look at all of these motherfuckers in all of our neighborhoods; all of them are connected. So the issue is that we're gonna go after one. Because it's like me firing my brother. I'm not firing my brother because he tried to get with one of your women that I don't even believe is human. Right. You understand what I'm saying? So if we go, if we're talking about doing this for real, we got to understand that the battle plan has to be bigger than just that one right there. 
That could be the first one. Mm-hmm. But we need to get all these motherfuckers up out of our community and start. And, and as you say, if y'all if y'all got the know how, start business, start start our own corner stores. Because at one point in time, I'm old enough to remember. I'm old enough to remember when the corner stores were ours, and I remember yeah. when we started selling them to Habib and shit. And I want to let the sister. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. This is what I want to say. I I I recall several years ago. I believe it was 2010 when it all began with the police brutality, and we began watching on uh, watching the trend on um, social media, watching it on RCNBC. And one thing that I was sure of and two things I was certain of was that the people were, um, it, we, we had entered, that's when I first started um, my whole saying where I say we are in the midst of the Great Awakening. I've been saying it that long. We are in the midst of the Great Awakening. And I just believed that my people were going to wake up and that my people were going to understand that if they wanted to change, they had to keep it in their pocket. But what happened is, all too quickly, we forgot. We quickly forget um, who, who, what, what the agenda is. We quickly forget who our common enemy is. And things kind of go back to the way that they were. And so with that being said, uh, one thing that I just really believe in my heart uh, and, 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 and with me saying that is that one thing I thought that was going to happen was that we were going to be so outraged with how people were treating us from the outside that we would treat each other better. No. Right? That that we would be angry with the way that they were uh, uh, gunning us down, chasing us down, uh, uh, no, that don't work. Us, taking away our civil liberties. No, that we would begin to treat each other better, right? right. We would be able to t- treat our brother and better, but that's never happened. In my community, it never happened. We continue to bury people for this crime. People continue to rob and kill people for less, right? And so when I when I hear and I see what is going on now with this story, all I want to say is, at some point, I, I I acknowledge and I appreciate that the fact that we are able to identify our common enemy. I appreciate the fact that we will stand up against them. But what I really want us to do is stand up against those people in our community that but look Lady like Jane, us that do Lady the same Jane. shit to tear us down. I want us Lady to stand Jane. up against Yes. Lady, now, I hear you. But that, I, that's where I want us to start. Hold that's on. Where I want hold to on. Start. Now, so, so you, uh, the, the, uh, that's sort of like that's sort of like when we address a police violence, a motherfucker coming to the car and say, well, what about black on black crime? <laughs> Nigga, we talking about, we, right. we, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's like you, you're taking you, you're taking a focus somewhere else and it's not to a bad place. It's something real. And the only thing I guarantee is, like, for example, in The Godfather, at the, at, at, in the very first one, real short, when they had the conference, and he was talking about bringing dope into the game, and Don Corleone said, "No, nah, because it's gonna fuck up the game. But if y'all want it, I'll bring it in." And and um, they looked at one dude, and he said, "Can you get? No, this was part three. Can you guarantee that your people are not selling dope?" He said, "I can't guarantee that they're not selling dope, but I can guarantee you that if I catch them, I will kill them." Now. I can't control what goes on directly inside of the so-called community because the one piece that we are illusionary about is that we exist in a goddamn community. I would love it, but we know we don't. Nigga, you're you you you're renting from somebody that lives on the west side and buying shit from somebody from the Middle East. You know what I'm saying? I but, but, but hold on, hold on, hold on. But what I can guarantee is that I can guarantee the behaviors of those that are in my tribe and i can That's take right. responsibility for that the rest of the right. rest of them i can't take responsibility That's for it is. and i'm not even going to try to control them this is, this is the, this we have to I concentrate on the ones that are that we got. on our side and i can't guarantee that they won't do it in the black community but i can guarantee i'll handle the ones that do it with me You understand what I'm saying? We don't want to point out any woman, any woman who has a daughter who lives in the hood, who grew up in the hood, knows what happens when they go in the corner store. I'm 37 years old, about to be 38. Those men in, 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 in uh, uh, the behaviors that happen, 
it's the same behavior that was happening when I grew up on Cleveland Avenue. Oh, yeah. Grew up on Cleveland Avenue. Because fact, there's no consequences. I was 13 years old being able to go into a corner store and buy alcoholic beverages. And this is man, when you look at the stuff, so man, this man, is man, big one. And this is one so that, that's on us mothers as well. Not only, but, but hold on. That's on us too. No, what I'm saying no, is. Listen here. What, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Listen Vivian. here. We should be able to. Then, I don't. Okay, I guess. The, yeah, I guess you're right. It is on the mothers too because they keep sending them back if they have other places they can go. But they don't know they're getting that shit. Convenient. And we know, and we know but, what happens. We know. But my thing is, you know, you see what I'm saying? Right, because you, you know. What we're going to do is concentrate on what we this, can control. Um, what is the person at that store who is perpetuating this um, activity, we can concentrate on that. And what we are going to do to stop that. Do we have a picture? Now, there's, there's still people. There's still people that may go go on in our community, and you know they, we still have mothers or fathers or whomever to send their children to the store. Still, that's a whole nother um, issue. But let's concentrate on this one right here. And then if you, and if, you know, and you can also multitask like, with that. I, I, so I we got to concentrate on this. I say this at the at the risk of scaring the shit out of people, but problems fix themselves with correct behavior. When you start doing what the fuck you're supposed to do, then the shit that you're not supposed to do just doesn't have room to happen no more. You know what I mean? So it always it starts with me fixing my shit, and then it starts with you fixing your shit, and then it starts with you everybody in this line fixing their shit. And then we could collectively fix our shit. And then I think it's five people on the line, just hypothetically. Once the five Six. of us fix our shit enough to where we could take it out beyond us. And that's, if we, if we not, if we not courageous enough to find and at least be honest about our flaws and then still support each other and still, even if we got some fucked up skeletons in the closet, to still believe in each other, the five people in this home, hypothetically. The five people on this phone. If we can't be expo- if we can't expose ourselves to each other and, and still trust each other that we in this fight together and that we can move together regardless of how we done fucked up in the past because we all got some skeletons in the closet. You know what I mean? Now I'm then gonna say this. Can I say this? We can't. We can't oh, trust sorry. each other enough to move forward to to hold other people accountable because we have to hold mm. our community accountable. Once again, the only way that store is ever gonna get shut down. Is if a hundred people show up on a regular basis and stop everybody from coming in there, and the only way we're going to be able to do that is if we consistent, and the only way we're going to be consistent is if we fuck with each other consistently. Now, I want to say this. I, I get that from AJ. I want to say this. Um, I want to. I want to celebrate the young girl who might have broke normal behavior. And did what 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 this dude asked her not to do, because really we wouldn't be having this conversation. Because like Lady J brought up something that 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 hit me, that this is normal behavior in these stores. She said, "My daughter don't go in them goddamn stores, but and she bet not now, especially, you know, uh, to you to I, I get my bride price back, or she or they get married, but um." But there is, we know, we know these behaviors, and the ladies know these behaviors go on. Now, you're letting the brothers know. And maybe, see, because maybe one way to attack this is, because we, we, we got artists in the circle. Maybe one way to, to, to attack this is possibly talk to some of the sisters in the neighborhood that might have stories that happen in that goddamn store. And maybe we could blow the top off of this whole goddamn thing. You understand what I'm saying? Because if if motherfuckers start if 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 brothers start realizing that every time one of our little sisters go into this place, it could be your cousin, it could be your mama, it could be your sister, that these motherfuckers are disrespecting. You know why? Because we have not been able to reward our friends and punish our enemies. Anybody that disrespects disrespects your women 
have no respect for you and have no fear for you. No. None. None. I like how you keep saying that and it keep being relevant. What? I, I want you to finish what you're saying, but I also want you, when you finish, can you please, so we can be consistent in doing what we do, because I want to make sure that you do that. Can you please do that? 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 Can you Two travelers worn out by the heat of the summer, summer sun, laid themselves down at noon under the wide spreading branches of a plain tree. As they rested under its shade, one of the travelers said to the other, what a singularly useless tree is the plain. It bears no fruit and it is not of the least service to man. The plain tree interrupted him, said, you ungrateful bastard. You ungrateful store owner, you ungrateful Arab, you ungrateful racist bastard, you ungrateful politician, do you, while receiving benefits from me and resting under my shade, dare to describe me as useless and unprofitable? The moral of the story says some men underrate their best blessing. God damn it, if that don't fit yeah, say, the moral again. Say, say, say the moral again The moral says Some men Underrate their best blessing uh, I got I, Wait, I got other morals Because I posted I posted up the link Because what I'm going to start doing As we start building up the, the media empire Because I'm telling y'all right now One way to blow the whole the whole top off this motherfucker is to start actually getting sisters talking about some of the shit that happened in these stores. So that every time a black man, every time a black man walk into one of these stores, he knows that he's participating and paying for somebody to disrespect his mama, to disrespect his sister, to disrespect his daughter. We disrespect our kids. We paying from this. We give, we, we giving them the, the, opportunity and the resources to do us wrong and to feed their family because their family are is being treated good, their family living good. The, their children, they don't have to worry about going to the stores being harassed because they know better. They won't do that to their own kids. You know what they would do to they us? They do that to white kids. I wasn't being racist. It's just that they're scared to do it to a white kid because oh, they yeah. feel like a white kid has someone to tell not only you know do they have saying? someone to tell, I want to ask you a question. Like, can I, can I, can I, I want to ask you a question. They do that to their kids. Let me ask. I'm, they I want to ask they our guests a kids. question. Can I ask a guest a question, an important question, a real important question I want to ask to our guests? Go ahead. Black, this is, What's is, up? I, was, I wanted to ask you this, but I knew it was sensitive, and Hatim just, just kind of opened the door for me to ask. How comfortable would you be with your little sister coming in and publicly telling her story? Cause I mean, it's one thing to hear you say it, but then to hear the voice of a young of a, of a young lady, uh, that 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 blows up, that blows the whole shit open in a different level. Man. Yeah. How you feel about that? I mean, I will not have a problem with it, but that would be on her mother, like right. my wife's sister. It's not it's not my actual blood sister, but I've been around since she was two years old. I'm the, that's why they call me because I'm the one who's always there for everyone when they right. need it. You know, I'm the one who's going. Like I said, they got an older brother. That's like a year older than us, you know, and they got a dad, you know what I'm saying? But they call me because I'm the one that's going to come to protect them. But it's not up to me for, for her right. to do an interview. That'd be up to her sister and her mom, you know. I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't be objective to it, but, you know, that'd be I, up to Right. You got to get permission. Mom. Well, I mean, black. even if they get a video. Not, not get, only a video of her, we already got Lady J that says that when she was young, the shit was going on. So I know some, some they said something to you. Navita, I know that when you walked in the store, one of the motherfuckers said some shit un inappropriate to you. We don't have to bring the young girl on. <laughs> we got enough full-grown-ass women who have been in these stores and have experienced this shit from these motherfuckers that we could use. And any mother's who who would, would would confess this shit might want to hear what their daughters got to say because now they don't you know what I'm saying because the titties ain't perky no more you understand what I'm saying as far as the store this particular location is concerned. I'm not see y'all listen listen I'm on some media shit I'm on some media mogul shit 
I'm not trying to shut down that motherfucking store because I know that they won't do nothing but shut down and move to another neighborhood. I know these motherfuckers is international and national. Motherfuckers need to be made aware of how they believe they can treat us. I want to reward my friends. I want to destroy my enemies. You know why? Because I got two little, I got two little girls over here. And I, matter of fact, I could actually probably call one of my daughters right now, and she could tell me some of this inappropriate shit that one of these motherfuckers said to her when he when she was fourteen years old. We need to start putting. Hey, that you know how I like to do. I like okay. to connect things. I like to connect things. So they need to connect. Yeah, I'm gonna hang up. I'll say it again. To connect, to connect with how Tim and Black is both of y'all saying. Like on one hand, how Tim you said you don't, you're not really in, that much interested in shutting down the store, but Black you said you want to shut down the store. Well, both yeah. of y'all saying, like, on one hand, the energy, the the movement that it would, create, it would take to actually shut down that store, I'm interested in that. If we got enough I people to do that, then that, that means that we really out here doing some See, shit. Listen, so, so not only that store being shut down, down but I'm, also creating the type of movement that it would take to get that shit shut down. Now, so, I'm, they, I'm, they, I'm not they, against they that. They targeting the youth in them stores. If y'all could remember, I guarantee y'all been through it too. I remember going to the store giving them my money and them not giving my correct change back because they knew they could do that because they feel like we're not smart enough to calculate it ourselves. You and know, that happened like at all of them. Yeah, you know, they feel like we wasn't, we weren't educated enough to, to, to calculate ourselves. If we was to speak up for ourselves, they're going to just say that we were wrong. Because it, it, it wasn't just one store. It's multiple stores that used to do that to me. In school, I always had A's in math. I always did. I'm, I'm real good at math. Like, people be surprised how good I am at math. So I always calculate my stuff and I always had to argue with them about it. You know, so like I said, it's not just, it's not just the, what they doing to, to the girls. You know, that's the main thing, but I'm saying it's, it didn't start with that. They right. started smaller to manipulate us so they could manipulate us on a larger scale. They figured they could get away with one thing and they could get away with more. And now, and I want to, I want to be clear. I'm not, not talking about not closing the store, but what I'm saying is, yeah, what, what we hit on is something that not only affects that little sister that at that store. We know that everywhere that these that these stores exist, everywhere, you know what I'm saying? That these dudes are very disrespectful. They don't respect our culture. They don't respect us. You know what I'm saying? And, and we know this. We know this. And that's why we know they don't be crooked. Now, and they don't. But where I stop short at is with these young, these young girls. I, personally, I would like to concentrate on what we can do. And anybody can call me if I need any help from me, if I need to put anything out there to try to keep the momentum going on this one store. Yes, we can do that. I'll work on the other one. Else, but guess what? You got the fuck out of here, though. How about exactly. that? Exactly. So that's, that's how I feel about it. You know what I'm saying? And so if anybody is, you know, on that and they need my help in any way, then you contact me because I, we could do that. And I feel like if we could get one, just one, and and get numbers, then, you know, there's a next that one. That's next that's one. Why, that's, that's and why go to the next one. And then we go to the next one. That's why you know we have saying? to shut down that store because we have to set that one. If they if they're not shut down, that might make it. They might make it seem like it's okay for other stores to That's do it. That's true. And what they are doing, so but after a while, like right now, they won't do it. I guarantee. You. Most stores in the city are aware, so they they probably not talking to the little girls. But if that store don't get shut down by the summertime, they'll be back at the same shit. It so will. we have to get them shut down. Yeah, now. Will be summertime. Even, and this is my thing. Even if. They get shut down in other stores or on it, and we may, and they still may be doing that shit. But guess what? That motherfucker ain't doing that shit right there. Exactly. No motherfucker more. Exactly, and it's, and, and people That's gonna how see I feel that, about it. and they gonna and and you know if 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 it's if it stops a lot and it brings back just one, you know that's that's more than enough because. It won that without that, you know, we won't bring we won't bring none on. Right. There's really there's really a lot going on, you know, we really should get together. Like I mean aside from the phone call, we should really get together in person right. and talk and come up with a plan and figure out how we can get you know, get things moving in the right direction so we could make an impact. Well, I know y'all already do what y'all do, you know, to make an impact. I wanna be on board with y'all. 
you know, so whatever y'all need from me, just let me know and I'm down. All right, I, I, I say I'm, I'm going on the two prong shit because I, I, I got to beef with all of them. Because this happened in one. I, I, that's not I, saying I don't have a beef with all of them. I'm not, I'm not trying to argue. That. I'm not try, I'm, I'm really not. I'm because I'm with, I'm with both. But I didn't even know that that was an argument. I'm just Can I say something real fact. quick. I don't have a, I have a beef with all of them. But right now, this is an instance that happened with this brother on the phone and, and, and his, um, you know, his niece, and I would like to concentrate on doing something at that particular location if we can. And, yeah, we can. you know, that doesn't mean that I'm negating all the other ones. Where things Ain't happen nobody at, said that. But I would like to try to concentrate on, I didn't say you said that, I'm just saying this is, I don't, I still feel the same way about the other ones. And I would like to, but I do want to concentrate on trying to do something, if possible, um, with this location right here. And then, um, and then maybe it can grow into something more, but may, or maybe it can't. But, you know, I would like to try. All right, and family, I want to do this. Those that's listening to me um, that might tune in later or whatever, ladies or brothers, like, because brother just gave a testimony because I, I never even thought about them sneak this in us with the change and shit why don't you make a small video of how you been and how you been cheat, treated at one of these stores that's run by these arabs in our motherfucking community and send it in to us at giami journey and i'll cut that shit up real nice and, and 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 put that shit on facebook because i want i want motherfuckers to know that this ain't just a problem here i know it's a problem nationwide so i'm not I, that's all i'm saying I going we gonna shut these motherfuckers down because, like I said, now also it's gonna require some political involvement. Which, thank God, it's almost election season any goddamn way. I'm gonna get some of these motherfuckers out of here. You know what I'm saying? Because I know they selling singles. I know they selling singles. Hey, it's, and it's Black History Month too. You know, so we gotta do it. We do it in our. We do it in the month they gave to us, which is but it's always Black History. It's Black History Day every day. But I'm saying this. This is a month designated for us. You know, let's get them shut down this month. Miss Cynthia says she willing to share, share her stories about that story. I'm talking about all of them. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. yeah. We all of do, them. Uh, I'm like the Me Too thing. But, Hell it, yeah. you know, we do different videos and shit, put them out about the stores, and we can organize. Like, okay, we're meeting at this store, and once this one's done, we're going to this one, we're going to this one, and we let our... The most problematic in our community. Hashtag and, move to um, white neighborhood. You can, you know, like you said, the single cigarette thing. You know, that's against the law. Period. Yeah, and, and not even just that. that. When they say they don't, when they say they only hire their kind because of their preference, that's against the law right there. So just by that, they should be investigated because we got that on video. You know what? But listen, I'm like this. I understand that shit. Now, we can press that. But I want you to understand, family, This that's one of the problems with us. We're the only universal people. Everybody else is like, I'm hiring my cousin. Yeah. I don't know your black ass. Let me ass. tell you, because I work in the convenience store industry. Let me tell you something. That single cigarette shit, government want their motherfucking money. They don't like that shit. They don't like that single cigarette shit. And they can get shut the fuck down over that single, single, single cigarette shit. They can lose their license over that single cigarette shit. So you got to have a license to sell cigarettes? I was wondering that. I know you got to have an alcohol. Yeah. 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 yeah, you got to have the license. And, and, yeah. you're, and you're not allowed to sell them all for the The fine is egregious. The fine is off the hook. I work in that fine. industry. Yes, it is. Uh, there's a store. Um, a lot of times it's book, uh, especially on the east side, there have been a number of stories that have been closed down due to mm -hmm. uh, being uh, uh, due to being nuances. Um, and so in a big part of that was the fines that they received. So when you see these stores closed down and open back up with um, new owners, names, with their a lot of times because they've been caught selling single cigarettes. But one thing I, was, I, I wanted to point out um, I think it's the, uh, the issue, the issue um, with uh, the, the treatment of women by Arabs uh, in, in these stores, 
um, it is an issue. It is a problem. Um, but again, uh, my thing is when when I said I was treated that way by Arabs, I was also treated that way by older men. Um, yeah. And so I, I I'm just throwing that out there. Next thing is my problem with them is that they should they they operate in our in our in our community. They don't give anything into our community. Like you said, they don't buy anything. They don't support um, any of our initiatives or anything like that. Um, but they, we have a bigger problem. I mean, we have a major problem with them. And it's not just the, the treatment. It's that they should not be in our community. We we should have infrastructure. So we should own the convenience uh, mark. We should have them. Um, they should be investing in our community, in our schools, and they're not. We, it, it we used to own problem. those, baby. Should, the question we, we need to ask is what happened. All level. We can't, we can't prove it at all. We don't have evidence in every, I mean, you know, hard evidence. We know that these things go on. We don't have hard evidence that all of them um, do the same thing. Or uh, what we do Lady know Jay. is that people point blank, they shouldn't be operating in our community. Uh, now, nah, that's, now. Nah, they shouldn't be operating in point. our community. That's part of the point. All right, family, listen. So I read the story. We ain't really get a chance to go in depth on the story, but I'm going to shut it down because it's 1030. I got to get up and do my thing, and I got to do the toast in the morning. But I'm going to be going. I'm going off. I'm going off because I'm like, now, now they all on my radar. You know what I'm saying? Now they all on my radar. Even some of the Indian stories. So y'all better watch the fuck out. And then on top of that, I'm going to drop my number in your inbox. Uh, he got my number already. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you don't got it. He gonna he gonna arrange the hookup. Quasi gonna arrange the hookup. So so hook up. Talk with Quasi. He gonna arrange the hookup, and I'll be there. Okay. All right. All right. Most definitely. You know, make sure everybody else comes. But we gonna definitely get it together. Yes, sir. All right, family. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Now, although we didn't directly deal with the folk tale. We directly dealt with the folktale in an in a action way because people are coming into our neighborhood and being like, y'all such an unspectacular people. You don't bear no fruit. Mm-hmm. And they're, they're basking in the shadow as we protect them from the sun. And we got to be sure yeah. that we have to stand up and start checking motherfuckers. We got to check politicians. We got to check, we got to check business owners in our communities because they're living off of us and we need to start making sure that they understand that shit. So, family, listen. Listen to me. What we are going to do, this discussion is not done because these proverbs um, or these folk tales are for the weak. So, go and listen to the proverb. I read it. I just, I'm just i going to read it one last time. Listen to the proverb. Feel free to leave your quote on there. Also, I'm challenging brothers and sisters that have been cheated at these stores, brothers and, and uh, sisters and brothers who have been propositioned in these stores in an improper way. I want to hear your story. Post it up so we can start letting people know that we need to go to some other, you know what I'm saying? Let's take our business elsewhere. Matter of fact, let's bring our business home. So here go the proverb, and I'm folks, and I'm done. Two travelers worn out by the heat of the summer sun laid themselves down at noon under the wide-spreading branches of a plane tree. As they rested under its shade, one of the travelers said to the other, What a singularly useless tree is the plane tree. It bears no fruit and is not of, of the least service to man. The plane tree interrupted him said, You ungrateful fellows, do you, while receiving benefits from me and resting under my shade, dare to describe me as useless and, and unprofitable? And the moral is, some men underrate their best blessings. Family, for many communities, we are the best blessing that they have ever had. And they are they are poisoning us. They are abusing us. They're disrespecting our women folk. They're disrespecting the men, intelligence. They're threatening us. They're, they're, they're uh, 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 you know, so we, I mean, so there's so many different ways you can approach this. Take some time, write something down on the on the thing, and I'll get back with you. But for right now, okay. I will see y'all in the morning. Peace. All right, peace.
Alright, Facebook, I'm out. Alright, Spreaker, I'm out.